Hey Marvin, you know how I said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep! It's so cool! Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go make some more! <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <gasps> Bitch, can I borrow $500? See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. My bitch, did you hear me? I said I need $500, and I don't want to get a job. Oh, so you just gonna sit there and ignore me. Well, then forget you, my bitch. <laughs> you saved my life. I did? Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll, and you did the high lick maneuver. I didn't lick your hiney. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking. Dougie, what can I do to repay you? Oh, uh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. I want to give me $500. I don't even have a $500, Dougie. What, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there, and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh no, my bibs is choking, my best friend, I got to save his life. So I went over there and I licked your hiney, and you can't even give me $500 for saving your life. I don't have that kind of money, is there anything else, like, is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos. You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken, and I really want it. Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah. Okay, see, that's easy. I can do that for you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm, I'm gonna go grab them right now. Thank you, my bibs. Okay, Dougie, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Dougie, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. Hey, right here. What, what kind of language is that? Cursive. That, that's not cursive, that's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay, hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheetos. Just call this number. Okay, Ma Bips, it's making some type of ringing sound like that's what a phone does, Dougie. Hello, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now, sorry. What? Give me the phone, Dougie. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? Y you know what? Let me call you on my cell. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again, hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so... Can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk. I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay, you know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. All right, folks. Uh, hello? Hello, I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Camille Habib Habob. Camille as in camel, Habib Habob as in corn on the cob. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well then you don't have to ride on my back. You have two feet at work. You are a camel, it is your job. It is not my job to carry you, it is my job to carry water in my home. Not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends! Don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof! That's it! I kill your family! Okay, 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 calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have, eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do! I store them in Camille's hump! Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby! Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he is not blabbering the whole time. So, you want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, dude, he got the Cheetos!
know. I, I know that's exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for him? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire. But I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. Ooh, I don't like pizza rolls, so no. Well, I don't really know what else I could trade you for them. Marvin, the microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I have ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about two bags of Cheetos for your whore? I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and $100 million? Well, uh, yes, I will, yes. What? No, Marvin! Well, it's $100 million, baby! Okay, come on, whore. Let's go. What? But your owner sold it to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for $100 million, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on. She'll have her own litter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my 12 wives. You have 12 wives? Oh, yeah. Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbering on the knobbing. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count it as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 no. See, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my taint. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Okay, for a hundred million dollars, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the hundred million dollars for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. It, just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just, ugh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello. Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey. Did my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh, well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, it feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah? He got Cheetos? Oh, yeah, he does. Hell, yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken flavored Cheetos. The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Well, he definitely got the Cheetos and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're gonna have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my Allah, you have brought me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many times, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. 
Sure, man. I don't give a shit. As long as there's those fried chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what. I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not. Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you one fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. <laughs> Ew, it tastes like shit. I'd rather have the $500. I love Baconator Wednesdays! Yeah, that's not even a thing, but we're gonna pretend it's a thing this week and then forget about it. Oh yeah, we are. Alright guys, let's take bites of our Baconators. Wait, Cody, what's this in my burger? Wait, what is that? Let me see. Oh, that's a bread clip. I'm not even screwing with you guys. We actually found this in the burger before we got the scene. Like, that was just in there. So, great job, Wendy's. Yeah, I could have choked on that and died. And are these purple Frosties? Wait a minute. Didn't McDonald's do something like this last year with the Grimace Shake? Oh, yeah, dude. They totally did. Wendy's still in their flow. Yeah, wait a minute. Does McDonald's know that they stole their idea? Guys, guys, look at this. I looked it up on Reddit to see if this has happened to anybody else. And look, two years ago, somebody found the exact same bread clip in their burger. Wait, so this has happened before? Yeah, apparently this is a common brand problem for Wendy's. They just can't stop doing it. They love it. Okay, well, we should sue them, because if we would have choked on that, we would have died. Yeah, you're right. This is kind of a big deal. Yeah, we should sue Wendy's. Let's go sue Wendy's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come to Papa. Oh. Come to Ronald. Uh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Belly button hair. I hate it when that happens. Anyways, let's watch some TV. Hi. From Wendy's, you know what would go great with a Wendy's cheeseburger? A purple frosty. That just sounds perfect. Add purpose to your day. Mmm, now that tastes perplexing in a good way. Order one today. My original idea a purple frosty. Are you shitting me? Are you? Selling me a purple frosty! That whore stole my Grimmy Shake idea! I gotta call Steve! Oh, I'm so mad I'm shaking! You better raise the phone, Steve! Answer the damn phone! Thanks for your pizza, Grandpa! Don't mention it, kids! Oh, what's wrong, Freddy? The jalapenos on your pizza are too spicy, and it makes me poop my pants. Oh, well, just pick them off. Well, hold on, kids. Grandpa's getting a phone call. Hello? Steve! What are you doing? D do you have time to talk, or, or is this a bad time? Well, Ronald, I'm having dinner with my grandkids. Can I just call you after? Oh, you with your grandkids? Yeah, yeah, I can talk later. Go ahead. Go ahead and spend time with your stupid-ass, ugly-ass, lame-ass, goofy-ass, coco-melon-watching-head-ass, hey, Ronald. Shake head ass grandkids! Steve, you work for me, Steve! Not your grandkids! Steve, you need to talk to me! I'm so Steve. sorry, kids. You're right, Ronald. What do you want to talk about? Well, Steve, I was sitting here eating french fries and ketchup off my belly and shit, looking like a damn mess, embarrassing myself, and then I turn on the TV. And I see that Wendy's came out with a new purple frosty or some shit. Purple, Steve. Purple? Now where did they get that idea from, Steve? Oh, I know. You remember last year when I came out with the purple Grimace shake? And people ate that shit up, Steve. I mean, I made billions, Steve. Everyone was eating that shit. <sighs> I bet Wendy's saw that 
and they said, oh, our sales are plummeting. Whatever are we going to do to make them go back up? Oh, I know. How about we steal the purple shake idea from Ronald McDonald? That copycat, an original idea stealing I want repercussion, Steve! I want her to suffer, Steve! Why is she not suffering yet, Steve? Well, Ronald, you don't own the color purple. Oh, you're right. My bad. I, I am overreacting, Steve. I, I think I called the wrong number because I thought I was calling my manager, Steve! You know, the person that's supposed to help me! It's like I gotta do things. Myself. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. What can I get for you? Yeah, this is totally not Ronald McDonald. I was just wondering if you maybe had one of those purple frosties that's totally not a ripoff of the Grimace Shake from McDonald's. I'm so sorry, sir. We sold out of those. I bet you have, you slut, because you got the whole idea from me. That's right. It's me, Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Fooled your asses! It was me wearing a big mustache the whole time! You thieves! You bunch of thieves! That's right! Ronald's gonna get his! Uh, you, Wendy! Ronald's gonna get his! Suck my dick, Wendy! You whore! McDonald's is better anyway! You! <laughs> Sold out my ass! I'm gonna get me one of those purple frosties, one way or another. Oh, Grimace! Daddy needs you! Ah! Settle down, boys, settle down. You hungry? You want a fried from McDonald's? <laughs> Yummy! Yeah, so Daddy needs a favor. You remember that stupid slut Wendy? I hate her! Yeah, me too. Well, she stole something from Daddy. She stole the Grimace Shake, and she's calling it a purple frosty? Say what? I know, I know, so Daddy needs you to go get him one of those frosties and bring it back to me. Okay! Ah! Good boy. Jeffy, get in here and eat your Wendy's. Did she shave? Because last time she had a bush like a porcupine and I was picking hair out of my teeth for a week. Oh, you were talking about your food. Jeffy, shut up and eat your cheeseburger. I also got you french fries. I had a couple of them. You mean all of them? No, there's some at the bottom. Look at that. Oh, there they are. Yeah, and I got you a purple milkshake. Mario Marvin, it's a frosty, not a milkshake. It doesn't matter, Jeffy. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? <laughs> This, this cheeseburger smells bad, Daddy. But you guys hear that noise? <laughs> Jeffy, what'd he say? I don't know. We were just speaking in our native language of Tardanese. So what'd he say? Well, I don't know, but I think he just wanted my Frosty. Oh, man, I, that cost $2.99. <laughs> Got it, boy? Mm -hmm. Good boy! Now you made Ronald so happy! Now let's try this shit. Shit tastes just like the Grimace Shake! That copycat whore! But now that I got this, I'm gonna ruin that slut Wendy's life! Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Ronald McDonald, who is suing Wendy's for stealing his purple Grimace Shake idea and trying to sell it as a purple Frosty. Mr. McDonald, let's hear your side of the case. Oh, Your Honor, please help me. I was at a homeless shelter giving away free cheeseburgers to homeless pregnant women with AIDS. When all of a sudden I see this commercial for Wendy's come on, and they're bragging about stealing my Grimace shake! They're calling it a purple frosty or some shit! They're stealing money from me, Your Honor! Wendy is a greedy, idea-stealing whore! Miss 
Wendy's. Is this true? Did you steal the Grimace Shake idea from McDonald's? No, Your Honor. I make my famous chocolate flavored Frosties, and then I decided it might be fun to make a purple berry flavored Frosty. Oh my ass! One year to the day that I made my Grimace Shake, you stupid! I did stealing slime! Order, 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 order. Settle down, Mr. McDonald. Now, Miss Wendy, it has been exactly one year since the Grimace Shake was released, so it is kind of suspicious that you would release a purple frosty. Your Honor, he doesn't own the color purple. Okay, now you're starting to sell in my mansion. That's like if you were suing me for selling cheeseburgers. He doesn't own burgers either. Actually, you know what, Your Honor? Now I want to sue him for selling cheeseburgers too. <laughs> Oh, it's got me sounding like a damn turkey. Mr. McDonald's, Wendy is right. You do not own the rights to the color purple, and you do not own the rights to cheeseburgers. Now, it is true, Wendy may have copied your idea for a purple shake, but that does not count as copyright infringement. So, I have to find Wendy not guilty of copyright infringement. This case is closed. Yes! Oh, this is bullshit, Your Honor! This is bullshit! Bailiff, have Mr. McDonald removed from my courtroom. Bullshit, Your Honor! This is absolute bullshit! Come on, buddy, time to go. You'll rule the day, Wendy's! You'll rule the day! Wendy's nuts! Oh, hell no! I'll hey, be hey, 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 no, 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 I'll come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much, Your Honor, for finding me not guilty. Now hold on, Wendy, because I still have another lawsuit against you on my desk. You are being sued by two kids who claim to have found a bread clip in their baconator. What? Jimmy and Cody, please explain what you found. Well, Your Honor, we were eating our baconators for Baconator Wednesday, and then I saw a bread clip in my burger, and I was like, damn, I can't eat that. Yeah, it's true. I saw the whole thing. Your Honor, they could have put that bread clip in the burger just to get an easy check from me. Just like the lady who put the finger in the chili. Ugh, the finger was me! Come on, big guy. No, no. Hmm, this is true. Junior and Cody, do you have any proof you didn't put the bread clip in the burger yourself? Yes, Your Honor. There are multiple other posts online from people who've also found this exact looking bread clip in their burgers from Wendy's. Hmm, very interesting. Well, Wendy, I find you guilty of putting bread clips in burgers, and I order you to pay these two kids $20,000 for mouth reconstruction surgery if they need it from biting into that bread clip. What? Our mouths are fine. We didn't even bite it. We just want them to stop putting bread clips in their burgers. Also, you didn't bang the gavel thing, so does it, does it count? Oh, yeah. Bam. It's done. So, Cody, what are you going to do with your $10,000? Well, I'm not going to buy Wendy's, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand how a bread clip got into a burger. I know, and that many times, too. It wasn't just us, it was a lot of people. Yeah, I don't understand how you take the clip off the bread and it just falls into the burger. Between the patties. It was between the patties, too. How does that happen? You have to put a patty down, and then and then you have to do whatever causes the bread clip to fall, and then it goes right in the burger, and you just put another patty on top of that, and you don't even notice? I don't understand. Guys, like, this whole video is about the Ronald McDonald thing. And then we got the intro like last, and then we saw the bread clip, and then we had to make a whole story behind that because that actually happened. Yeah, so watch out. I mean, yeah, good thing we only ordered it for the scene. Good thing we weren't eating it. Yeah, no, we didn't take a bite, but like, you know, if you're getting Wendy's, just, you know, check. Check for bread clips. Yeah. Square burgers. Sea salt french fries. Freshly squeezed lemonade. Hey guys, it's Logan. I just want to give you guys a quick update to let you guys know that you might not have videos for a few days. Yesterday we were filming a Fast and Furious Jeffy parody video and I got in a car accident and I broke my back. So I'm currently in a back brace for 12 weeks. Uh, the airbag got my arm pretty good. But uh, I was in the hospital all night. Uh, I broke, I fractured my L1, L4 vertebrae. So yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. I can't really bend down or sit. And if you know, when I film these videos, I sit down when I film. So yeah, if you guys uh, don't, if you guys just understand that, you know, I'm going to try to film as soon as I can, as fast as I can. 
but um, they told me that if I want my back to heal without causing more problems, I need to rest. So they have me on pain medicine. I'm trying not to take it because I don't like pain medicines, but I just want to give you guys an update about me and why there may be a few days before the next video after this one. I'm going to try to get the Fast and Furious video out hopefully by Saturday, but I am in a lot of pain, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. You guys are the best fans in the world. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be alive after this. Um, I felt my back break when it hit and I, and it was pain just shot at my spine, but I'll make a whole vlog about that. But, um, thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best fans in the world. And I'm going to try to get back to work for you guys as soon as, as soon as I can. Officer Gary, get in here. Yes, sir. Gary, I was looking through your file and I found some troubling news. Oh, what's that, sir? Well, it seems you never finished the fifth grade. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you see, I grew up in Brooklyn, and then I moved away and I went to a different school, so I just went right into sixth grade instead of finishing fifth grade. Well, that's not good, guy! We can't have a police officer that never finished fifth grade! Sir, what does it matter if I never learned all my shapes or whatever? Guy, we're gonna need you to repeat the fifth grade! What? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous! This is like the plot of an Adam Sandler movie or something! Guy, either you go back to the fifth grade, or you turn in your badge! <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Hey, Karen. Brady, you're home early from work. Yeah, the chief says I can't be a cop anymore until I finish the fifth grade. You never finished the fifth grade, Brady? No. Well, how'd you graduate high school? I don't know, Karen. I don't understand it either, okay? I just have to go for one day to show him how smart I am. Oh, boy, Penelope's not gonna like this. I'll talk to her. Penelope, get in here. What do you want, Dad? Well, Penelope, your daddy never finished fifth grade, so I'm gonna be going to school with you tomorrow. But look, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be like best friends. We'll hold hands, and, and I'll protect you from all the bullies. This is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me! Huh. Well, I'm not worried. She'll love it by tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you're coming to school with me. This is so embarrassing! Hey, I don't like it either, Penelope, okay? But it's only for one day. I just have to go for long enough to prove that I'm smarter than a fifth grader without having to meet Jeff Foxworthy. Just don't acknowledge me, okay? Okay, but I don't know why you're so embarrassed of me. You know, your dad was actually pretty cool when he was in school. I'll have you know I could flick my boogers farther than anyone else in the class. That's disgusting! And, and guess what? I was the first one in my friend group to get his first kiss. I mean, it was with a dude, and it was on a dare, but he was a pretty good-looking dude. Dude, you know, I pulled hose. I mean, they were guy hose, but I still felt cool. Ugh. Oh, the bus is here. Just don't talk to me and don't sit next to me. Penelope. Ugh. Penelope, I don't see why I can't sit next to you. I'm your father. Oh, you must want to say bye to your daughter. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to school. Is that legal? It's court ordered, actually. All right, well, then go sit out. Really? I guess anybody can get on the bus. What, Dad? I told you not to sit next to me. Well, I don't have anywhere else to sit, Penelope. I don't have any friends. Besides, this is like bonding time. No, it's not. What? Okay, who's the asshole? You want to go? What? Uh, I mean, ne never mind, young king. Uh, Wakanda forever. What, Dad? Look, it's my first day, and I, I don't want any trouble, okay? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, hey, would you like my lunch money? Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go, bro, dog. <laughs> See, I'm already making friends. What are we going to eat for lunch now? We can eat when we get home. Uh, the wheel got the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Shut up, Dad! Hey, guys, look, I got a butter. Oh, oh, yeah, well, check this out. <laughs> Dad, ew! You're lucky I don't have a booger. I'd be flicking up a storm. Dad, what are you doing? But I don't have a seat, Penelope. No, you can't sit here. Go sit up there. I don't want to sit by myself. I'll get lonely. Just go. Uh, uh, hey, homeboy, can I sit with you? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're all good, brother. Uh, okay. Well, this brings me back. Ooh, a pencil. But don't play with your pencil. Don't play with your pencil. Oh, and it's so cool, it's like a spaceship. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, 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 it's like a lightsaber. No, 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 take that, Darth Vader. No, 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 no. All right, Cross, before we get started today, we have a new student. Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? No, I'm a baseball player in the World Series. Bah, just hit that bitch out of the park. Home run, and the crowd goes wild. Dad, the teacher's calling you. Go up there. Hold on, Penelope, I gotta hit one more home run, and I win the World Series. Oh, uh, excuse me! The guy playing with his pencil! Stop playing with your pencil! Come up here! What if my wiener was this long? I mean, not very thick, but it's a pretty good size. Although it's too pointy. Uh, uh me? me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so embarrassing! Alright, everyone. This is the new student. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I, I'm a Brooklyn T guy. N no cap. 
Facts, you know? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, uh, you look like you're too old to be here. Well, well, I am, because you see, I never graduated elementary school, so they're making me do it again. So, you know, stay in school, kids, you know, keep keep off that TikTok, because I know you guys like TikTok, right? You, you seen that kid that does this? He's got like the backpack and he flosses. You guys have seen that, right? Or, or maybe you know this one. Charlie bit my finger. Ouch, Charlie. You, you, you remember that? I wonder what they are doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Penelope's dad, but uh, she doesn't want you to know that because she's, she's embarrassed, you know, because she came out my nutsack. <laughs> Shit slaps my legs when I walk. I'm talking, talking free balling. Anyway, don't make fun of Penelope too much. She just started her period. You know, that, that's, that's when you bleed out of your gooch. I'm really glad us guys don't have to worry about that. The closest we have is when we eat too much Taco Bell and our butthole bleeds, am I right? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I, I'm a cop. So, uh, but not right now, you know, so if anybody's got that Mary Jane, hit a brother up, you know, that, that devil's lettuce, that jazz cabbage, homeboy in the back knows what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough from you, go sit down. Oh, okay. So, Penelope, how'd I do? I hate my life! Oh, you teenage girls and your emotions, just wait till you grow up and have real problems. Hey, Penelope, I heard you just started your period. Ugh, I'm gonna die! No, you're not, it's only gonna bleed out for a few days, every month, for the rest of your life. Hey, do you wanna be friends? Oh, you're Penelope's dad, right? Yeah. I'll be your friend if you give me brownie points and smash your daughter one day. Hmm, you know, it took balls to say that to me. I like you. Hey, you want a lightsaber fight? Of course I want a lightsaber fight! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I'm Darth Vader. I can't believe this is my life! Alright, class, we have a spelling test today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper, and I'm gonna read off random words, and you have to spell them. Oh, shoot. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow some paper? You brought a backpack to school, but no paper? Hey, there's nothing in the backpack. I just brought it because it looked cool. I got it from smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Okay, Teach, I'm ready for this spelling test. What's the first word gonna be? Cat? Dog? Something like that? The first word you gotta spell is possum. Pfft, well, that's easy. Possum. P-O-S-S-U-M. Duh. Hey, Penelope, you spell it right? Turn around, Dad. Stop looking at my paper. Wait, Penelope, what the hell are you doing? Why'd you start it with an O? That's how you spell possum. No, it's not, Penelope. Is your brain okay? It starts with an O, Dad. It's pronounced possum, not a possum. It's not a French possum, Penelope. Stupid. All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pterodactyl. This is easy. Did you spell this one right, Penelope? Yes, Dad. What, Penelope, are you having a stroke or something? Pterodactyl does not start with a P. Possum starts with a P, and pterodactyl starts with a T. The P is silent. What, why would they do that, Penelope? Why would they have a secret P? What's the secret about? You're gonna fail this test. No, you're gonna fail this test, and then I'm gonna have to ground you. You're the worst! Learn to spell! All right, Cross, the next word you're gonna spell is pneumonia. I know how to spell pneumonia. I'm a doctor. Hey, Penelope, did you get this one right? Yes, Dad. Wait, Jesus, Penelope, what is with you and all these P's? The P is silent! Pneumonia does not start with a P. I know this. I'm a doctor. I don't see how. It starts with an N. It starts with a P. No, it doesn't. Crass, no talking while you're taking the test or you fail! No, no, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what have you been teaching my daughter? Because she thinks possum starts with an O, pterodactyl starts with a P, and pneumonia also starts with a P. But what is this? Because that's the correct way you spell those words. But really? No, 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 no. I, I have to check this out. Hold on. Let me just Google it real quick. Quick, but, but, oh, no shit. Huh, well, I guess I'm wrong. Well, look, I haven't had to spell things in a long time, okay? Well, thank you for giving everyone the answers. Anyway, Crass, we'll try another spelling test tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is a science experiment. Good going, Dad. Now I have to take another test tomorrow. Yeah, well, I I, I knew those were the answers the whole time. No, you didn't. Y yes, I did. I was just trying to let everybody know. You know, just, just help a brother out, right? Right, dog? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, why are we making him sit in the back, huh? That's that's messed up. There needs to be some changes around here. I, I got your back, bro. All right, Cross. For today's science experiment, I'm going to show you the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. In this bottle, I have vinegar. And in this balloon, I have baking soda. When I lift the balloon up, the baking soda will drop into the vinegar, causing a chemical reaction, and the gas will inflate the balloon. Allow me to demonstrate. That with my butthole. Huh, that's pretty neat. Hey, Penelope, you want to be my partner? Nope, I'm good. We're going to be partners. All right, Chris, now I'm going to come around and give you the tool so you can recreate this experiment. All right, Cody, flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Sploosh. Oh look, oh, look how big it's getting. Oh, that's hot. I, I am aroused. Oh, boy. Okay, Jeffy, yeah, flip it. This shit's about to be crazy. <laughs> Whoa! 
Ah! How are you doing there? How's it getting so big? It's a blade. It's so fizzy. Oh my god, how's it doing there? It's so fizzy. Oh my god, it's so crazy. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. Come on, Penelope, flip ours. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here it goes. Let's do it. What? No, it's not. What is happening? What? Come on, man. Nothing's happening. What? What did you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just, it's not working. This is dumb. Why are we even doing this? This is stupid. Why are we going through all this trouble? We could just blow it up with our mouths. We have lungs for a reason. This That's not the point, Dad! I don't care if it's the point. This is stupid. <sighs> Teacher, this is stupid. If something went wrong with your experiment, it's because you didn't follow directions. What? Didn't follow directions? What are you talking about? She lifted up the balloon, the little shit fell in the bottle, and then nothing happened. Come on, man. All right, Kraus. The next thing we're going to do is math. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a math card, and whoever shouts out the correct answer first will get one Skittle. Now let's get started. Yes, something I'm finally good at. I'm good at math. Hey, Penelope, my mouth is about to be full of Skittles. All right, first question, nine minus six. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Three. Correct. Catch. Oh, that's good. What the hell? I, I didn't know we could just shout it out. I thought we were raising hands. Okay, I got the next one. All right, next question, nine plus 11. George Bush. Twin Towers. Inside job. Guys, shut up. The Pentagon is the most surveillance building in the world. You're telling me it only got seven frames of a blurry object hitting it? That's not the answer to the math problem. The gas station next door got the surveillance footage taken by the FBI? 18. 20. The, the 20. That is correct, Penelope. Ah! Mm. Damn it, I wanted a Skittle. All right, the next question is 9 plus 12. 21. 21. I, I said it first. No, I said it first. No, I said it first. I said it first. I said it first. Ugh. Good job, Penelope. Ah! Um, no, 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 no. I clearly said it first. Shut up, Dad! No, this teacher is discriminating against us. Me and my boy back there. Yeah, he hasn't given either one of us a skill. I think it's a skit problem. Start getting the math problems right and you'll get a skill. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. I'm about to come up there and take the whole damn bag of Skittles. I'd like to see you try. Okay, bet. I'm about to throw haymakers. Yo, dog, you gonna back me up? What? Let's get him. Come on. What's good, dog? You wanna go? Come on. I bet you won't do anything. Come on. Do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> right the eye. You guys see the teacher hit me? Wait. Hey Penelope, your dad's crying in front of the whole class. This is the most embarrassing day of my life. Well, guy, it looks like you found a loophole. We agreed to drop the charges on the teacher if he would pass you from the fifth grade. So congratulations, you passed the fifth grade. Yes, that's right, I'm a man, even though my eye hurts. But looking back over your file, I saw that you never graduated kindergarten either. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, guys, are you ready to play with my new Robo Rage toy? Oh, cool, Bish versus Bosh. Oh, dude, I want to be Chris Bosh. And I want to be Bish, because I'm 100% that Bish. I want to play with your new robot toy. So let's open it and play with it. I go first. No, dude, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, it's my choice, so I get to go first. No, it's, I, 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 I get to go first. I get to go first. Okay, guys, listen. We need to buy two more of these robots so we all can play. All right, let's buy two more. But this is a $100 toy, Jeffy. We don't have $100. Well, maybe we could raise money. Like, we could do a car wash or something. Like, I could take my shirt off and wash cars. Well, honestly, I just want an excuse to take my shirt off. Yeah, guys, we could wash cars and raise the money, and then we could all play with the robots. So, look, let's go wash some cars, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, time to get Marvin's house paid. Hey, Donnie, can I go outside and wash cars with my friends? No! Why? 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 I don't get it! Why? Man, come on, let Jeffy go outside and do a job. But, baby, he's going to be touching other people's cars, and he might damage them, and then it'll be my problem. But, Marvin, you're not going to give him money, so let him go work for it. Yeah, Donnie, I'm a working man. Okay, fine, Jeffy, you can go wash cars, but if you damage anyone's car, it's your responsibility. I don't know what responsibility means, but I got it, Daddy. Oh, this is a bad idea. Who's at the door? Hello? Hey Marvin, I'm here for your house payment. Oh, Goodman, uh, well, you see, I don't have my house payment this month. You know what this is, Marvin? A banana? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you peeling a banana? Because this banana represents your wiener. And if you don't have your house payment by the end of the day today, this is what I'm gonna do to your wiener. What? I'm gonna cut it off, Marvin. I'm gonna cut off your wiener. Oh, okay, okay, look, I will get the house payment by the end of the day. Well, now I'm gonna come inside and use your bathroom and clog your toilet. What the, oh. 
Oh, guys, look, a Lamborghini. Let's wash this car. But, Junior, this guy didn't ask us to clean his car. I know, Cody, but if we wash it and do a really good job, the guy will come out and go, damn, you cleaned my car really good. Here's a thousand bucks. Junior, I don't think forcing people to pay us for stuff they didn't ask for is a really great business model. Cody, just shut up and wash the car and look sexy. Okay, that I can do. Junior, I don't have a sponge. Um, go find one. All okay. right. I think they grow in the grass or something. Now, where can I find a sponge at? Oh, that looks like a sponge. Don't forget to wash the grill, Cody. Okay. I'm gonna check on Jeffy and see how he's doing. Ah! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm doing great, Junior. I'm washing it so good that the paint's coming off. What? Squeaky clean. That's a brick. House. You know, like the song? She's a brick house. What? Jeffy, you can't wash it with a brick. Stop it. Cody, come here. What's wrong, Junior? Look! Whoa, whoa, that, that, that is a problem. How'd that even happen? This is the only sponge that I could find. You used a brick? House. And we damaged the car, Cody! Junior, the guy's not gonna pay us $1,000 for this. So what do we do? Oh, okay, I have an idea. I say we get out of here. <laughs> Cody, come back! Do I keep washing it or not? No, Jeffy, we have to go. Come on! Oh, Marvin, I clogged your toilet bad. Here, smell my fingers. Oh, God, oh, why does it smell like that? Because when I was wiping, my finger broke through the toilet paper and went in my ass crack. So that's what you just smelled. Oh, why didn't you wash your hands? Because you don't have any soap. So maybe tonight after you give me your house payment, you invest in some soap. Oh, okay, just, uh, I know, just come back later. All right, I'll be back tonight. And if you don't have your house payment, you know what will happen to your banana. What about bananas? L listen, baby, you don't want to know. What the hell? Why is there soap on my car? Did someone try washing my car and they didn't even finish? What the fuck? Did someone try washing my car with a brick? Marvin! Daddy, washing cars is hard. Why? What happened? Because there's so many different types of sponges, I don't know which one to use. I get confused. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. Hello? You pull your pants down! It's coming off! Well, you said I had to the end of the day! Not anymore! Not after what you did to my car! What'd I do to your car? Come here! This! Well, I didn't do that! I know you didn't do it, but your son did! How do you know he did it? Because he left me a bill. Car wash bill, $1,000 owed to Jeffy. Well, I, I, it wasn't me who did it. it was I don't the... give a fuck. You gotta get me your house payment and the money to fix my car by the end of the day, or you know what happened to the banana. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'll try it! Jeffy! Jimmy! You damaged Gibbons' car by washing it? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do that, Jimmy? Ah! What? No, Jimmy, why did you do that? Dang, I told you, sponges are hard. No, they're not hard, Jimmy. They're supposed to be soft and squishy, and they, and they wash things. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Jimmy, you owe me $5,000 by tonight, or get out of the house. Marvin, that's not a realistic amount of money Jeffy can get to you by tonight. Oh, Mommy, I understand. I screwed up big time. Yes, you did, Mr. Dad. You go get me that money now. All right, Daddy, I'll get you that money, even if I have to swing leg. Go! Well, washing cars was a bad idea. I can't believe Jeffy used a brick. Wait, Jeffy used a brick? Wait, Joseph, why weren't you outside washing cars with us? Because I don't do manual labor, dude. My people suffered enough. I'm enjoying my freedom. So, Cody, how are we going to get $100 to buy more robots? Junior, I don't think we should try to raise any more money. We've done enough damage. Hey, guys, my daddy said I need to raise $5,000 by tonight or he's going to kick me out of the house. But that's not even possible. Well, Cody, did you not hear what Jeffy just said? If he doesn't get $5,000 by tonight, he's going to be homeless. Well, Junior, that's not possible. And also, he damaged that car. I mean, it's not our problem. We were trying to wash it. But, Cody, friends stick together. we got to help our friends. Yeah! So we have to help Jeffy get the $5,000. Well, how are we going to do that, Junior? Um, hold on. Let me think. I'm going to be like Jimmy Neutron. Think. 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 Ugh, who's at the door ruining my brain blast? Come on, Cody. Let's answer the door. Hello? Hi, Junior. Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have s'mores. A mint cookie? No, Penelope. We don't want to buy stupid, dumb Girl Scout cookies. We need money ourselves. We're not going to waste it on cookies. Damn, Junior. You could have just said no. Well, actually, I, I will take some of those mint cookies. Aw, thanks, Cody. Eat your mint cookies, stink breath. Bye. Okay, that was rude. Cody, why would you buy cookies? Well, I'm sorry, but now my feelings are hurt. Cody, if you have money for cookies, why don't you give it for Jeffy? He needs $5,000. It was only $10, Junior. Cody, oh my God. We need money. And Wait a minute. Buying those cookies just gave me an idea. Oh, yeah, we should probably... We should beat up those girls for the money. What? No, I thought you were going to say we should sell cookies. What? No, selling cookies is hard. Beating up girls is easy. Chris Brown does it. What? Chris Brown doesn't beat people up for money. He doesn't? What? No. Then why does he do it? Because he's an asshole. Oh, so you're saying we should sell Girl Scout cookies? Yes, that would be much easier. All right, let's go tell the other guys. 
Guys, guys, guys! Me and Cody found the fastest way to make $5,000. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to make $5,000. Me and Cody found the best way to make $5,000. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best way either. We found a way to make $5,000. Over time, yes. All right, guys, so we're at the door, and these Girl Scouts showed up and said, you want to buy some cookies? And Cody gave them $10 for no reason. Well, I did get cookies. So, guys, I was thinking we could sell cookies, and we could make $5,000. That's a good idea, Junior. Yeah, that's a dope idea, dude. Junior, we're not going to make $5,000 just from selling cookies, and we have to do it today. Well, Cody, we're going to sell this one box of cookies for $5,000. Junior, that's insane. No one's going to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Yes, they will. If we tell them that there's a possibility that there's $10,000 inside it, they'll pay $5,000 for it. That's a pretty big gamble, Junior. I don't think anyone's going to do that. Yes, they will. Because if we tell them that there's $10,000 in that box, they're going to say, hmm, I could double my money if I give them $5,000? Okay, Junior, I want you to think about this. First, we have to find somebody who has $5,000 in cash on them, which is pretty rare in this economy, and they also have to be dumb enough to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Cody, anything's possible. We landed on the moon. We're humans. We have thumbs. If caterpillars were trying to do this, I would say it's impossible, but we can make it happen. I, I will agree with you that caterpillars couldn't do this. All right, so guys, we have to find some Girl Scout outfits. Oh, I actually have some from role-playing with Ken. Okay, so you go get those outfits. Someone's gonna believe there's $10,000 in that box. Wait, there's $10,000 in that box, dude? See, Cody, someone will believe it. Let's go, guys! Okay. Okay, guys, this is the first house, and I feel like we're gonna get the $5,000. Hello? Hey, we're trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. But you guys aren't girls. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anybody can be a girl these days. Yeah, I'd love some Girl Scout cookies. Well, all we have is the mint cookie flavor. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite kind. Uh, what's that, like 10 bucks? Uh, hold on. Do, do you have change for 100? Uh, yeah, we have change for 100. Okay. Take this and run. Wait, wait, where is he going with my money? Oh, he's going to go get change from the car. I, I don't see a car. Oh, it's parked way down the street. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but while we, while we wait, I have an amazing opportunity for you, sir. Uh, okay, I'd like to hear it. What if I told you that there's $10,000 in this box of cookies? I wouldn't believe you. Well, if you give us $5,000, you'll have a chance to open up this box to see if there's $10,000 in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible deal. Well, well do you have $5,000 anywhere in the house? No, no, I don't think I do. Oh. Is it? Is that kid gonna come back with my money? RUN! What? Hey, hey, you bastards! Get back here! Shit! Honey, shit! What's wrong, Boydie? Well, these kids came to the door dressed like Girl Scouts and they scammed me out of $100. I should have known something was fishy when they weren't girls. Aw, Boydie, you know kids will be kids. No, honey, they committed a felony! Well, did you at least get the cookies? No! God, I'm so, I'm so pissed! <sighs> Well, guys, we got $100. Yeah, we just need 4900 to go. Well, we only have to go to 49 more houses, Cody. Well, yeah, and we have to hope that everybody gives us $100 and asks for change, and then we run off every time. Stop being a negative Nancy, Cody. That's my mommy's name. Wait, wait, dude, you got 100 bucks? Sick. Wait, Joseph, why weren't you trying to sell cookies with us? Because I told you I'm not doing manual labor, dude. Well, technically, guys, we did get the $100 we needed to buy more robots. I mean, yeah, that's true. We could just buy more robots. I mean, it's up to you, Jeffy. Do you want to buy the robots or go to 49 more houses? Hmm. Okay, guys, let's fight with our robots. Yeah, we're two bad bitches. But you're no match for my boss. All right, guys, let's fight. Go. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 my God. We're kicking your ass. My bitch is beating up your boss. No, oh, my boss is kicking your bitch ass. No, it isn't. It's my bitch is bitching your boss. Marvin, why are you biting your nails? Because I'm worried that Jeffy's not going to get the money in time. So you don't have the money. Oh, Goodman. Good thing I brought the scissors. What are the scissors for? Oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, Pooby, banana me. Hey, what's up? Do you mind peeling that banana for me, Pooby? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, what's the banana for? Oh, you'll see. The banana represents Marvin's wiener. Oh, it's not that big. And since he doesn't have my house payment... <laughs> graphic, I know. Hey, you going to finish this banana? No, Pooby, you can have it. Oh, thank you. So you guys watching the video, just know every time you are watching a video, Pooby is behind the couch eating a banana. So go ahead and like the video. For every like that you give us, that's another banana for Pooby. So Marvin, since you don't have my money, whip it out. Oh, uh, Jeffy might have the money. Let, let me go check. No, we can't get up out of there. Take oh, that, you no, no. Hey, Jeffy, where's my money? Oh, I gave up on now. We're playing with robots. Oh, Jeffy, you owe me five thousand. Come on. Okay, Goodman, look, it's Jeffy's fault. He's the one that destroyed your car. So if anyone should get their banana snipped, it's him. Marvin! Baby, my, my, my wiener. It's not like we use it. Well, Marvin, I have a special punishment for Jeffy. Come with me. Is this your car? Yep. Is this the brick that you use to wash my car? Looks like it. Well, I'm going to wash your car. Ugh! Don't you ever touch my car again! 
Ooh. Marvin, what do you think he's doing to Jeffy? I don't know, baby, but I'm worried about my wiener. I don't want it to get snipped off. <gasps> his scissors. Ooh, baby, hide his scissors. Oh, okay. All right, Marvin, I just punished Jeffy. I threw a brick at his car. Now we're even. Now for you, young man, you didn't pay your house payment. So now I'm going to snip off your wiener. Wait a minute. Where, where are my wiener snipping scissors? I left them right here. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, I can't snip wieners without my wiener snipping scissors. And I can't just use a regular pair of scissors. Darn, Marvin. I guess it's your lucky day. I guess I'm just going to have to punch you in the dick instead. Oh, 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 my God. And you bet your dick I'm going to order me a new pair of wiener snipping scissors. And then next month, when you don't have your house payment, I'm going to snip your wiener clean off your body. You know what? Better yet, I'm going to snip it long way so it looks like a snake tongue. Oh, uh, well... I guess is the best outcome that could have happened today. Happy Easter, everybody! <laughs> Easter eggs for everybody! <laughs> I love cutting my grass on Easter! Run my bike, but my feet can't touch the pedals! Ow. Oh shit! Man down! Oh my god, my baby! Someone help! Uh oh, is it my fault? Hey there, Mr. Easter Bunny, we meet again. You still on crack? You know it! Yeah, well you're under arrest for littering with all these eggs and attempted involuntary manslaughter of a child. I didn't do nothing! Yeah, tell it to the judge. Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooh and today we will be hearing the case of the Easter Bunny, who is being accused of littering, as well as the attempted involuntary manslaughter of a child. Hmm. Mother of the dead child, tell me what happened. <laughs> well, my son was riding his bicycle, and then out of nowhere, an Easter egg came flying like a hundred miles an hour and hit him in the head! <laughs> Whoa! So let me get this straight. Mr. Easter Bunny, you threw an egg at a child's head? No! A llama ran over the egg and, and, and shot the egg at the, at the kid! Wait, wait, wait. Are you still on crack, Mr. Easter Bunny? Yeah! You really need to stop that, Mr. Easter Bunny. Crack kills! Mr. Huckadoo, is it true that your lawnmower launched the egg at the child's head? Yeah, I was mowing my lawn and the damn Easter Bunny threw eggs all over my yard without my permission. I just didn't see them. Hmm, I see. So if the Easter Bunny hadn't littered his eggs all over your yard, you wouldn't have run over them with your lawnmower, which caused the child to die. Well, in that case, I have no choice but to sentence the Easter Bunny to 15 years in maximum security prison. Jeffy, are you ready to go Easter egg hunting? Sure I am, Daddy. I got my helmet on, got my diaper on, my ashes full of gas, and I got my basket. Oop. All right, Jeffy, let's go outside and look for eggs. Pee-pee. All right, Jeffy, start looking for Easter eggs. Wait, Daddy, I don't see any eggs. Wow, the Easter Bunny hid the eggs really good this year. Well, probably because you're 19 years old, Jeffy. He made them really hard. But look, Daddy, that yard over there has eggs. Yeah, wait a minute. That yard has eggs? What? He not give me eggs because I'm a bad boy? Probably. Ah! Egg? Well, I don't know why we don't have eggs. It doesn't make any sense. Jeffy, stop putting the basket on your head. You knocked that off. Ah! Look, let's go turn on the news and see if there's something going on. Maybe there's an Easter egg shortage. Breaking news, MK. The Easter Bunny was arrested for littering and attempted involuntary manslaughter. He's being held in jail with no bond. He's facing up to 15 years in prison without the possibility of parole. The Easter Bunny's in jail? Well, that explains why we didn't have any Easter eggs. So no Easter for me! <sighs> Boo-hoo, I don't get my way. Well, Jeffy, we could go to the store and get Easter eggs. It's not the same! But we can hide them like the Easter Bunny. No! I want the Easter Bunny to do it! So I'm gonna break the Easter Bunny out of jail! You can't do that, Jeffy. That's illegal. Well, I'm gonna try, and then maybe he'll give me the golden egg! What's wrong, Junior? I can't open this bottle of Coke. Well, get a bottle opener. I don't have one. Yeah, you do. You mind if I use my ass? What? Yeah. Okay, Junior. There you go. But where's the bottle cap at? It's still on my ass. You want it back? There you go, Junior. Drink that motherfucker. Hey! 
Hey guys, did you get Easter eggs from the Easter Bunny? No. Well, neither did I because he got arrested. Well, he is a crackhead. Yeah, he is. Well, you guys want to go break him out of jail? Jeffy, how are we going to break him out of jail? We're just kids. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Well, I have the perfect plan, let me tell you. Okay, so we go into the woods and we capture a mole against his will and we tell him we want him to dig a tunnel underneath the prison all the way to the Easter Bunny cell. After digging, we go down in the tunnel and we go plant a Minecraft TNT block under the Easter Bunny cell and we ignite it so it blows a hole in the bottom of the floor. We grab the Easter Bunny and Cody, you're going to be wearing an Easter Bunny costume and you're going to stay in the prison cell so they don't notice that the Easter Bunny is gone. Then we're going to speed away on our motorcycles with the real Easter Bunny and then after a few months of Cody being there as the Easter Bunny, you're going to take off the costume and they're going to say, wait, what is this kid doing in jail? He doesn't belong here. And then they're going to let you out. Jeffy, that's the perfect plan. It'll work. Yeah, dude, let's do it. No, that's impossible. How is it impossible? Well, first of all, we'd have to find a mole and then we'd have to get that mole to dig a tunnel underneath the prison right under the Easter Bunny cell, which we don't even know where that is. And also you'd have to train a mole to do that, which it's a mole. It's not even going to fucking listen to you. And even if it did, it would take years for it to dig a tunnel that big and the tunnel would have to be big enough for all four of us and motorcycles and it would have to be big enough not to collapse in on itself which means we'd need scaffolding or some kind of support system and then also Minecraft TNT blocks aren't even real and even if we had one the guards would hear us blow up the floor of the cell and we could risk killing the Easter Bunny and then even if all of that worked I'd still have to go to prison for months you just don't want to go to prison well yes but also the whole plan is impossible okay we're not doing that plan because Cody doesn't want to help what Dude, don't worry, I got the perfect plan. So we get 100,000 people to all gather around the prison, and then we get everyone to jump at the same exact time, causing an earthquake, which will break the prison in half, with the Easter Bunny cell on one side, while the cops are on the other side. So the cops can't get to them, because the earth is split in half, dude. Then we can get a helicopter to fly down, and drop a ladder so the Easter Bunny can climb up it, and we fly away. Joseph, that's the coolest plan ever. It's even better than Jeffy's plan. Yeah, let's do that. No, that plan's even more ridiculous. How is it ridiculous, Coach? It doesn't involve moles or Minecraft TNT or you going to jail. Well, you'd have to gather 100,000 people and have them all surround a prison, and then the prison would wonder why there was 100,000 people gathered around it all jumping up and down, so they'd call the National Guard. And even if all 100,000 people jumped at exactly the right time, which would be impossible to time, that still wouldn't be enough to cause an earthquake. And even if it did, you'd have to hope the tectonic plates lined up just perfectly to break the prison in half so that the Easter Bunny cell was separated from all the guards, and I don't even know where the fuck we'd get a helicopter to fly and drop a ladder down to the Easter Bunny, and then even after all that, the police would just chase our helicopter with their helicopters anyway. Okay, Cody, so what I'm understanding is you don't want to meet 100,000 people because of COVID. What? You don't want to get sick. Be friendly, nigga. Yeah, make friends. But no! Okay, we're not going to do that idea because Cody's afraid of germs. And we have 100,000 people watching right now. Hit that like button if you'd meet us at the prison and jump up and down. Anyway, listen to my plan. It's perfect. So I'll get hired as a prison security guard. And Cody, you'll get hired as the prison chef. And when it's dinner time, Cody, you will poison the Easter Bunny's food. And I'll bring him his food. And after he starts eating, he'll start dying from it being poisoned. And I'll yell for the medics. And Joseph will show up because he got a job as the ambulance driver. And we'll put the bunny in the back of the ambulance. And we'll go to the hospital because Jeffy's there. And Jeffy got a job as a doctor and then Jeffy will heal the Easter Bunny with medicine and then we'll all speed off and run away with the Easter Bunny and he'll be escaped. Dude, that plan is hot. Yeah, Junior, you really thought that one through. That plan also will not work. Why won't it work, Cody? It doesn't involve 100,000 people in COVID. Well, you would have to get a job as a prison guard, which they wouldn't hire you because you're a kid, and I would have to get a job as a chef at a prison, which they wouldn't hire me because I'm a kid, and even if they did hire me, I don't know how I would smuggle poison into the prison, and I don't know how much poison to give the Easter Bunny that wouldn't kill him because he's a rabbit, and even if all of that worked out, Joseph would have to get a job as an ambulance driver, and they wouldn't hire him because he's a kid and he doesn't have a driver's license, and Jeffy would have to be a doctor, but he'd have to go through a lot of medical school before they even hired him, so that's not going to work either. So what you're saying is you don't want to do my plan? Yes, that's what I'm saying. All right, group vote. Who wants to do my plan? Uh, not me, dude. I'm going to do my plan, so I'm going to go get these 100,000 people. I'll be back. Well, now we can't do my plan because we don't have an ambulance driver. Well, we can do my plan. No, because I have a plan. What is it? My plan is that we go to the prison and we get visitors' passes, so we just visit the Easter Bunny. So we can see what cell he's in so that the mole knows which cell to dig under. I was going to say we visit the Easter Bunny and then go home. All right, good idea. All right, guys, let's go to the prison and see what cell the Easter Bunny's in. What? All right, kids, the Easter Bunny's in there. Yo, Easter Bunny, you got visitors. Pull the carrot out of your ass and hop, hop, hop over here. Oh, Mr. Easter Bunny. Why are you in a straitjacket, Mr. Easter Bunny? I scratched someone's face off! 
Ow. Why do you have a mask on? I keep spitting on people and I have HIV from sharing needles. Junior, why do we want him out of here? I don't want him out of here. Jeffy wants him out of here. I want him out of here because I want Easter eggs. Well, we could have gone to Walmart and bought those. I don't want him from Walmart. I want him from the Easter Bunny. I get my eggs from Walmart too. See? All right, guys, we have to think of a plan to get him out of here because we're already here. So, uh, Mr. Easter Bunny, can you fit through the bars? I don't know. Let's see. No. Oh, his head's too big. Let me see. Hey, Junior, I can fit through. Wait, wait a minute. I can fit through too. What does that mean? I, I don't know, but you know, we're just thinking. Wait, guys, I have an idea. What if I go inside the jail cell like this and I yell, help, help, the Easter Bunny pulled me through the bars. And then when the cop comes to get me out of the cell, then I'll tell him that I dropped my phone in the toilet over there and then he'll go digging in the toilet and then you guys grab the Easter Bunny and run out of the prison with him. Sure, fuck it, it's a plan. Yeah, all right, guys, you guys, you guys hide and I'm gonna call for help. Easter Bunny pulled me through the bars! Help! But what's going on? Wait, kid, how did you even get in there? The Easter Bunny pulled me in through the bars. How? He's wearing a straight jacket. Uh, he, he, he pinched me with his... With his ears. He can pinch him like scissors. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, that's good to know. I'm gonna have to put him in a straight hat. Yeah, well, can you get me out of here, please? Yeah, sure, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do that, I should probably have my partner Simmons watch the door. Uh, no, 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 you don't have to get another cop. Just come in here by yourself and get me out. Well, I don't want to risk the Easter Bunny getting out. He's really dangerous. He even killed a kid with an Easter egg. Oh. Hey, Simmons! Yeah, bud? Can you watch the door? I don't want the Easter Bunny getting away. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's gonna mess up. Aw, oh, damn it, they have another cop watching the door. What are we gonna do? Come on, kid, let's go. Uh, I can't leave yet. Why? Do you wanna stay here? Believe me, prison is not somewhere you wanna be. Your butthole gets bigger. From penis. Oh, no, I, I, I dropped my phone in that toilet when I was trying to call for help. Oh, God, that's so gross. Do you know how much disease is in there? Ew, I really don't wanna grab that. Well, get your partner to grab it. Ooh, good idea. Hey, Simmons! Simmons! Yeah, Mike? Hey, this kid dropped his phone in the toilet. Can you grab it? No, I'm supposed to be watching the door. Oh, come on, Simmons, help me out. No, mate, you're the plumber. You go get it. Oh, well, I plumb all the time, right? Can't you just plumb just this one time? No, see, I don't even know how to flush the toilet properly. Well, I, I, you don't have to flush it. You just have to reach in there with your hand. It's not hard. Well, no, sometimes when I pee, I pee all over the seat instead of the water. Okay, well, I don't see how that's related, but Simmons, come on. Remember that time at Dunkin' Donuts where you were short 50 cents? Yeah, but, 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 anyway, wait, you wait, should wait. totally go in there. Listen, Simmons, we're getting distracted. This whole thing is stupid. One of us needs to reach into that toilet and grab that phone. Well, then you reach in there and grab it. Wait, there's not even a phone in the toilet. Wait, hold on. Where's the kid? Wait, where's the Easter Bunny? Wait, Simmons, we've been had. Let's get after the Easter Bunny. Guys, we saved the Easter Bunny. Yeah! Woo! Shit off me. Yeah, I'll take it off you. Not so fast. Yeah, they look weird upside down. Simmons, we're trying to be scary here. Boom! All you kids are under arrest for helping the Easter Bunny break out of jail. We just wanted to save the Easter Bunny so all the kids can have Easter. You don't need Easter. You have Christmas and Halloween. He's a dangerous criminal. I guess. Wait, what is that noise? It sounds like a large crowd of people, like a football stadium. Yeah. All right, guys, look. I got 100,000 people waiting outside right now, and I told them to jump in five seconds. Why would you tell them to jump around my house? For practice! It's okay. It won't cause an earthquake. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, so please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. Me in. Build towards Jeffy. Ow! I'm dead. I'm so incredibly dead. Help me. Why would you break it? Where you at, Cody? Joseph, help me. Come here. Come here. Why, Joseph? Why not Logan help? I mean, do your help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not Logan? I'm a little offended. You don't want me to help. You're the one who killed me because you built the floor where I was trying to climb up. Wait, where's Jeffy? I'm over here getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I forget there are people. Oh, man. There's so many dirty dishes. Jeffy, stop doing that and help me do the dishes. I don't want to do the dishes, Dad. It's part of your chores. Chores are for whores. Owing. Take these clean dishes and put them in the cabinets over there. All right, well, I'm going to balance them on my head like a fuck. Don't put them on your head, Jeffy. Stop that. You're going to drop them. Where? What do you mean, where? I didn't understand the question. It wasn't a question. I said you were going to drop them. How would you know? Are you a psychic? Because I knew if you tried to put them on your head, you were going to drop them. But how did you know? To Jeffy, you have to sweep up all this glass, do the dishes, vacuum, go do all the chores. But that's so many chores! Figure it out! Oh, I guess I'm going to have to find some help. Cody, that's not where the bone goes. Junior, if that's not his dick, what is? You tell me. Hey! 
Hey guys, can y'all help me do my chores? Chores? We don't want to do your chores, Jeffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being a house nigga today, dude. Well, I wish there were three more of me so they could do my chores and I could just sit around and beat my diaper all day. Wait a minute. Jeffy, why don't we just clone you? What, in tarnation? You think that's a good idea, dude? Wait, we can just clone Jeffy? How are we going to clone him? With my clone machine that I already have. Oh, yeah, you do have a clone machine. Yeah, let me go get it. All right, there it is, the cloning machine. Cloning machine. Machine, get get cloning machine, get 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 cloning machine. Patent approved. It was pending for years, but the patent finally got approved. So I just get in this and it clones me? Yep, just hop on in. Wait, Cody, why is there a copy of Alvin and the Chipmunks in there? Oh yeah, sorry about that. I've been cloning copies of Alvin and the Chipmunks to sell online. I didn't know it was a market for it. Oh yeah, there's a big underground monk market. This movie's a cult classic. People love it. They dress up like the Chipmunks and have watch parties. It's great. Do you really make that much money cloning Alvin the Chipmunks? Oh yeah, I make bank. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, why are you putting it back in there if we're going to be cloning Jeffy? Well, we can get three more Jeffies and three more copies of Alvin and the Chipmunks. All right, Jeffy, get in there. Okay. Yeah, get in there, boy. What was that? I don't know. Just close the door. All right, Junior, it's closed. Oh. It's closed, Junior. Goddamn. I wanted to make sure it was shut. Okay, so now we just have to set it for three because we want three Jeffies. Put it to toast. And now we just wait. <laughs> Uh, what is going on? What the hell, dude? I'm out of here! Well, I can only assume because there was an Alvin and the Chipmunks DVD in there. The DVD's DNA got mixed up with Jeffy's DNA and made Jeffy and the Jeff Monks. Why does this one look like you? I don't know. Maybe some Mike Dandruff got in there and my DNA got mixed in too. So you guys are like Alvin and the Chipmunks? Yeah! Can you sing like them? Yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy Public domain songs! Do my chores! We don't do chores, we only sing! The wheels are the best go round and round! Alright, stop, stop, stop. Four Alvin the Chipmunk movies is enough. That was four? J Junior, these are the chipmunks from the first movie. They haven't met the chipettes yet. Who are the chipettes? No, oh, don't worry. You clapped some chipmunk cheeks in the squeakle. Oh, hell no! Alright, guys, let me show you to my daddy. Come on! Okay. Oh, they're so annoying. Hey, hey, daddy. Jeffy, did you do your chores? Not yet. Then go away. You're not allowed to come talk to me till they're done. Hold on, I need to tell you something. What? I don't have to do my chores. Yes, you do. Shut up, I gotta tell you something. What? I don't have to do my chores because I hired someone to do my chores, and they're right there. Hello? Jeffy, what the fuck are those things? Those are the Jeff Monks. So what? It's like Alvin and the Chipmunks, except it's me. Uh, Jeffy, I don't care how, who they are or how they were created. I want them dead. You got to get rid of them. Well, I'm not getting rid of them because they're going to do my chores. I don't want really to told you that we don't do chores. We sing. Oh, I want to hear them sing. I don't. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and sing them a song and tell them who we are. Do, 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 do. That was the worst thing I've ever heard. Oh, I loved it! They should do three more movies! Absolutely not. I want them to leave. I want them to do my chores. I want to sing! Well, you can sing your ass down the road when you leave, because you're getting out of here. But Marvin, they sound so good and they look so cute. They should record music and stay here. They're not staying here. They're going to leave. I'm hungry. Me too. I want candy. And cookies. And ice cream. You're not getting candy or cookies or ice cream. You're getting green beans. Everyone's eating green beans. Well, actually, you're not eating anything because you're leaving. Okay, fine. We'll leave, but we have a song first. I don't want to hear another one of your high-pitched songs. Come on, boys. I try to feed me green beans, but I don't know why he has to be so mean. All I wanted was something good to eat, like something nice and sweet. Cookies and candy is what I want, but my daddy is not letting me have my. Surprise! 
Mister, yes sir, you're gonna do your chores and get them done in five minutes or you're kicked out too. Why do I do my chores? God damn it! Marvin, I don't know how you can be so mean sometimes. Because my ears are ringing from that high pitched annoying song. Come on guys, let's get out of here. But where will we go? Anywhere but here. Sounds good to me. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I have to sign some new talent to my record label quick, but nobody knows how to sing anymore. Think, David Cross, think. Wait, what is that angelic music I hear? I gotta check this out. Marvin, do you hear that? The chipmunks are singing. They better not be on my property. They didn't get out. Get the fuck off my front yard, you annoying chipmunks. Okay, damn. Come on, girls. So guys, where are we gonna go now? Maybe that random car can pick us up. Hey, we're hitchhikers! Hey there, did you guys hear some beautiful sounding music? Yeah, that was us! Really? <laughs> okay, well let me hear a tune. Oh, so can you sing? Stop, stop, I've heard enough. You guys are good. Hey, how would you guys like to be billionaires? Okay, yeah! Okay, just hop in. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes! Okay, you guys buckle up back there. So where are we going, Mr. Boardman? Oh, please, call me David Cross or Uncle Ian. Can I call you Daddy? Hmm, maybe. But we're going on a little road trip. Oh, a road trip? No! I wasn't in that one! Now buckle your goddamn seatbelts, because we're going to the studio. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Those damn chipmunks are singing on the front porch. I told them to get out or I'll call an exterminator. Hey, Daddy. Did you do your chores? Yeah. If I go check, are they done? Well, you'll be disappointed in my effort. What do you mean? Well, let's just say I grabbed the broom and came up here and acted like I did my chores. Go do your chores, Daddy! But, Daddy, I can beat Harry Potter in the game of Quidditch. Give me that flying golden ball fuck. Hey, hey! Marvin, look, the news! Everyone be quiet. The news is on. Breaking news! Okay, three chipmunks with human heads are number one on the charts with their new hit song, Daddy is So Mean. You'd be a fool if you had the opportunity to sign them and gave it up. Number one on the charts? We should have kept them! Marvin, I wanted to keep them. You said no because you're a meanie beanie me. I'm not a meanie beanie. I wish we would have kept them because we would have gotten all the millions of dollars from their record sales. Marvin, that's horrible! And now some lucky piece of shit gets to take all their money. Well, Daddy, I think we should go save them because they're my kids. <gasps> Jeffy's right. They're, they're, they're part of Jeffy, so so that money should be Jeffy's, which is technically mine, because he lives under my roof. So if we go save him, we get the money. Yeah, come on, Danny. Hop on my Nimbus 3000. I'll fly us there. All right, go. <laughs> All right, I think this is David Cross's house. Hello. Amber Tamblin. Oh, well, hey there, fellas. How may I help you tonight? Is your husband David Cross here? Oh. Sure, he's upstairs fiddling with that old piano, don't you know? He stole my rats. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, young fella. Yeah, can we go up there and speak to him? Oh, sure, come on in. For those rat eyes, bustle. No, 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 that's all wrong. I told you, it's get a bucket in a mop for this wet ass pussy. Now do it again and do it correctly. Okay, Uncle Ian. Uh, Mr. David Cross? Hi, that's me, TV's David Cross. How did you get inside my house? Did my wife, Amber Tamblin, let you in? Yes, Miss Tamblin let us in. Yeah, you know, she was in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and now I'm in hers. Did you know she's 19 years younger than me? She was born when I was in college. Anyway, what can I do for you gentlemen? Well, you see these chipmunks right here? Yes, the chipmunks. They're my finest musical accomplishment. You know, I found them on the street when they were begging for scraps, and now they're famous and making me millions. Well, actually, those chipmunks are, they, they, they belong to Jeffy. Yeah, they're my rats. What? You see their heads? It, it looks like Jeffy's. Oh, I guess I do kind of see the resemblance. But still, they signed a lifetime contract. They belong to me. Well, how about you ask them who they want to be with? Hey, you stupid, ugly, dumb rats. 
Do you want to come home with me and Jeffy and do his chores and not ever sing but make me money? Or do you want to stay here with David Cross and Amber Tamblin? We want to stay here with Uncle Ian and his wife Miss Tamblin. We love them and they give us all the candy we want. Oh, cookies. Yep, see, they rather stay with me. So please well, leave my house. Well, we're not going to leave until they come back with us because you're breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I legally hired them to sing for me, which they're more than happy to do. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave before I call the police. And they will show up pretty quickly because they know this is David Cross's house. <sighs> All right, Jeffy. They choose to stay with David Cross and Amber Tamblin. We have to get out of here. Okay, I guess we did all we can do. All right, back at it. So Marvin, did you get the chipmunks back? No, they wanted to stay with David Cross and Amber Tamblin. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been so mean to them, meanie beanie. All I wanted them to do was record music for me so I could make millions of dollars off of them. Marvin, it's wrong to use them for money. That's what David Cross is doing. So do I still have to do my chores? Yes, you have to do your chores! Ah! 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 Don't you pull at me? Ow! Guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, uh, dude, let's play video games. Oh, yeah, video games are sick. But what can we play that's four players? Uh, we could play Rocket League. Uh, I don't want to play Rocket League. Every time we play that, we all just end up getting mad. We're not going to get mad because we're going to win. Yeah. yeah, and I'm going to be the goalie. Yeah, okay, Jeffy's goalie. Let's just go play. Come on, guys. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, there's only 10 seconds left. No, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, no, Jeffy, no, you better block that. Jeffy, you better block that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, Jeffy, block it! Oh, block it! Oh, oh. Jeffy! No! Oh, no! no. Nice. Nice. Try. Oh, you trying so hard! Jeffy, you lost us! Oh. You are right there! You, you just blocked us, us again. on the ground! It's not! Oh, it's you lost us again! You lost us again! Oh, Jeffy! Oh, down. You're oh, handicapped! God. You're Damn handicapped! It. I'm going to the studio! What? What the hell are you talking about? The studio. Why? I cannot believe we lost that Rocket League match. Yeah, all Jeffy had to do was, was block, block the, the dang ball. ball. Oh, I'm so mad. I let small things inconvenience my whole day. I know winning that video game wouldn't make me any happier, and I'm not even going to think about this when I'm 80 years old, but in that moment it meant so much to me, and right now I'm just so mad. Exactly, exactly. We're never going to win a Rocket League tournament with Jeffy sucking, sucking up. Yeah, sucking ass. Yeah, thank you, Joseph, sucking ass. Yes, thank you very much, Joseph. I was trying to find the words to figure out what would be the equivalent of sucking at a video game and sucking ass is exactly it. Why choice of words, Joseph? Mm -hmm, thank you so much. I've been increasing my vocabulary. But yeah, Jeffy sucking ass at Rocket League really makes me angry. Yes, yes, yeah, it makes me very angry. Man, I don't know what he means he's going to the studio. What, what kind of studio is Jeffy going to? A not sucking at Rocket League studio? Yeah, like a soccer studio? Yeah, Universal Studios? I wish I could go to Universal Studios because then I wouldn't be so mad. But what, what, what I can't, because I'm in Pensacola and that's like a seven hour drive away from Orlando and I can't even go anyway because we're just kids and we need a parent and we also don't have money, so that's also a problem. Yeah, but we would have money if we won a Rocket League championship, but we'll never win that because Jeffy sucks ass at Yeah, our goal is ass. Yes. Completely. Yes, I'm very mad, but talking about this has helped a lot. Let's just watch TV, guys. Ugh, where's oh. the remote? Oh, now I can't find the God, remote. God, I'm so mad again. Oh, I'm even oh, more I'm angry. I'm going to go look for it, but I am mad. I am so angry that we can't even find the remote. I think I found it. Who hit Why it? was it all the way over here? This is bullshit. I'm so Jesus, mad. Jesus, so turn it on. on. Turn, turn the TV on. <laughs> Breaking news, MK! A random diss track was sent into our news station, and I listened to it and I thought it was pretty fire. I'm gonna play it for whoever it was targeted to so they can hear it. Some people say that I'm handicapped. I'm not handicapped, I'm retarded. Danny says I'll play too much. Cap piano used a bunch. Keys are sticky to the touch cause I'll play after eating lunch. I rap everywhere I go, spit in front of all my hoes. All my dicks she's doing blow, but not before I pick my nose. You Think you made it far? Jeffy is your rising star. No for note and bar for bar. You can't keep up, you're not on par. I shit your heart on every song. Don't believe it, I'll prove you wrong. I bang your mom just like a gong. Pee pee boo boo, Johnny Slong. Yeah, okay, yeah. I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah. I spank my dopper very hard. Okay, yeah. I spank my dopper very hard. I spank, yeah. I spank my dopper very hard. Read, read. Target is fucked. 
stole a chromie from my homie Now he quacks like a duck And if you think you're just as re-re Then you're shit out of luck And I go crazy on the beat Till my pee pee gets stuck I spent my dopper super hard You cannot out retard Pee pee short like Lord Farquaad It's just me, there is no squad You think that you are the best I got hoes that have three breasts Like the feeling on their chest it Smells like fish with lobster fest Got hoes coming to my nest Flocking in from east to west Rapping's easy to stay in the test Millions of fans, I'm feeling blessed Junior Joseph Cody Fest Watch as I secure the bag Not that I'm trying to brag But every bit has a Jeffy tag mm, Yeah, okay I wipe my booty back to front Smelling balls, yeah mm, I wipe my booty back to front Dirty tank, bitch mm, I wipe my booty back to front Shitty smelling balls I wipe my booty back to front Really? Yeah, I spank my dog for very hard I spank that bitch I wipe my booty back to front Smelling balls, yeah Yeah, I spank my dog for very hard I spank that bitch Oh! Oh, what is this? Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse, a diss track has been dropped upon me. Did he try to flame our ass? Did he call us f***ing on the news? I'm straight as hell. I'm not, but that is a very hurtful word, and I can't believe they let him say that on TV. How'd he get the diss track on the news? It must be a very slow news day. But it's on the news, dude. It's ten times worse. We gotta diss him back. Yeah, yeah, we have to drop a diss track at him now because of him dissing us in front of everyone. Yeah, yeah, we must. Yeah, so we just need a studio to record that in. Oh, I know the perfect studio. My cousin Tukey got a studio. We should go and record. Yeah, yeah, we'll go We'll go to Tukey's house and record it, but, like, he said he wipes back to front. Like, hey, that's not even bad. I do that. Well, what? Wait, really? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I thought only girls can't do that. Well, I, I don't think anybody should do that. Yeah, that's pretty close. He said he has a stinky taint. Yes, and he's dissing us. My taint is very clean. How dare he? Yeah, I think we should record the hardest, meanest, rawest, trappest, craziest diss track anyone's ever heard. Yes. Oh, we're gonna flame his ass, dude. Let's do it. Let's go record it. Ooh. Ooh, that shit was fire. Yeah, our diss track is hard. Yeah, it's very hard. It's so hard, it's like... It's like cake that's been left out because it's hard, because it's stale. N not that our diss is stale, our, di our diss is fresh, it's very fresh, it's the freshest. It's like fresh cake that is also hard. Like, like ice cream cake that's still frozen. Yes, that's what our diss track is. Our diss track is ice cream cake that is still frozen. Mmm, great description, Cody. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, everyone's gonna want to hear our ice cream cake verse diss track. Yes, yeah. everybody's gonna want a slice. Oh, yeah, okay, so how do we get our diss track to the news? Well, I'm assuming the news has some kind of submit your own diss track email, so I'll send it to that. I got the MP3 on my phone. Well, what about the music video? Oh, yeah, I also have the MP4 of that. You know what, I think I'll just send the MP4 because it is both audio and visual. Oh, yeah, definitely send that to them. I'll send that. Okay, it's sent. Your Wi-Fi is very good, Junior. I have the giga, the giga, the giga internet. That's very nice. The, the giga speed. Yeah, fiber optic. Yeah. That, that's what I was trying to say. Good shit. Thank you, thank you. I'm just so angry I just couldn't get my words together. I understand. Look at the news! <laughs> News, okay? We just received a response to the diss track we aired earlier. This one I haven't heard yet, but let's listen to it to see if it's as fire as the first one. Perfect. Perfect. Junior gonna kill this track. Told your mom to throw it back. She gave me head. It was so whack. Ate her booty like a snack. Your helmet makes you look insane. Pencil probably pokes your brain. I do this shit. I make it rain. Stay the fuck right in your lane. Yeah. You stuck it, Rocket League, bitch. Your mom gets railed while your dad's a cuck. You thought it's your time, well, you're out of luck. Good at Rocket League, you're dumb as fuck. You think that you're good when you really just suck. Speaking of suck, that's what I do. But even I don't suck harder than you. Your dick is a minion, so I'll just call you Gru. I'm tired of you now, so shoe fly shoe. Julia and Cody just flamed you. You better run, cause now you in danger. At your crib all the time, I'm no stranger. In your mom's guts, about to rearrange ya. BPD the way I switch, I make you my little bitch. Cry to dad, you stupid snitch. I own you like I'm Richie Rich. Tired Jeffy, no fatigue. Going psycho like I'm Creed. Go ahead, I'm so intrigued. That's why you ass at Rocket League. I'm playing you just like the Wii. You're latching on just like some fleas. What would make your dad happy? Throw you out and lock the key. Now I'm done being polite. Now I got you in my sight. About to see you to the light. Make your ass go nighty night. Ooh, that diss track was too fire, bro. Yeah, our diss track was tough. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough like a steak that's been overcooked, you know? It's, it's so chewy because it's all tough and hard to swallow. For Jeffy, for Jeffy it was hard to swallow. For us it was easy to swallow because our steak was well cooked. But his, his was overcooked and so that's why it was so hard to swallow because it was so tough. Yeah, yeah, our stuff is really tough. Yeah. It's toughed like a, like a hair on a cow's chin. I'm sorry, Junior? You like a tuft of hair? Oh, tuft. Yeah, that, that's a different word, but yeah, I think I see what you're saying. And, you know, I mean, I, I would have gone with goat, but that's okay. I, I bet a cow's chin is pretty tough, too. And cows are also where steak comes from, so it, it comes full circle. I think we're on the same page, yeah. Do you think Jeffy heard the diss track? I really hope so. 
because I don't think the news is going to play that again. And this is the only TV in the house, so if he wasn't watching it on his phone, which I don't know why he would do that, then he probably didn't see it. So you don't think he heard our diss track? Probably not. I think we should go ask Jeffy if he heard it. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, I, we need to know. Yeah, dude. Oh, Wally fuck. Hey, Jeffy. What do you guys want? We saw your dumb, stupid diss track on the news. Yeah, did you cry and piss your pants? Yeah. Good. Hey, Cody, do a Wally impression. I feel like your voice has a really good, like, accent for Wally. Oh, yeah, I do a really good one. Wally. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't as good as I thought. I mean, even if the Wally thing wasn't right here, I would still know what character you were trying to impersonate. Well, yeah, it's not that hard. He just says his own name with a robot voice. Oh. Well, anyway, Jeffy, we saw your stupid diss track, and we made a diss track at you. And it was fire. Yeah, it was fire. It was fire like a grill on high heat where you can see the flames. Yeah, yeah, that's how fire our diss track was. And you know what? I bet you could cook a steak on that grill. A steak that's really overcooked and tough. Like our diss track was tough. And then and then if you eat that for dessert, then you could have like a really hard, frozen, very fresh ice cream cake. Because that's how hard our diss track was. And also fresh. And also cake. Because it was so easy. And, and then after you get done eating that entire meal, then you could wash it down with a nice, refreshing glass of lemon aid but 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 not refreshing it'd be like hot and it would burn your throat because it's because you wouldn't like it but we would like it, it would be lemonade to us but not for you he's saying our diss track is ice cold did you see it it was on the news no i don't watch the news fuck well cody pull it up on your phone make him watch it yeah i got the mp4 right here yeah, yeah watch our diss track it's very it's very everything he said yeah we're not going to show the whole thing over again but you know use, use your imagination yeah what do you think about that jeffy i bet that hurt your feelings Damn, he's crying now, guys. I feel kind of bad. Uh, I don't feel bad. He made us lose the damn game. Yeah, he did call his names in his song. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. I'm mad again. He called me a slur. Wait, you said I was handicapped. Well, all you had to do was block the stupid ball. If we had a better goalie, we wouldn't have lost. Guys, guys, how about this? How about I'm goalie next time? I like taking balls in the face. I mean... Yeah, if Cody was the goalie, then we could yell at him if he messed up, instead yeah. of Jeffy. Yeah, we could just quash this whole beef right now. Yeah, there's no more beef, we just, no more diss tracks, we just end this right here. Uh, nah, I'm taking this shit to the grave, dude. Uh, I would never be happy again. Alright guys, listen, no more sending diss tracks to the news. We all just say we're sorry, okay? Jeffy, you say you're sorry first. I'm sorry. Alright. I think that's it. I think, I think yeah, we're I think that covers it. Hold on! You guys didn't say sorry for calling me handicapped! Oh, uh... Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And we say we said it. Yeah. Just... I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, listen. Let's just go back and play some more Rocket League, okay? And Cody will be goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't think Joe's playing, so it'll be 3v3. Yeah. Come on, Jeffy. three keys buy me another one jeffy i don't have the money to buy you a new one right now but daddy i need that paper that cash cash green cash cash well why don't you get a job and then you can make that green cash cash green cash cash too hard no it's not too hard jeffy well it's too hard for me to let you borrow money marvin look the news breaking news okay there's a phone that will let you adopt animals straight from your phone and have them delivered to your house. What a time to be alive. Wow, Marvin, what a neat idea. See, Jeffy, if you thought of a cool business idea like that, you'd make tons of money. Okay, well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start my own business. Yeah, right. Oh my God, did you just see the new food delivery app that they announced on the news? They deliver cat and dog right to your door. America is amazing. Okay, guys, you ready to play doo-doo kangaroo? How do you play doo-doo kangaroo? Well, you feed donuts to this kangaroo until he doo-doos, and you press this button on the back of the toilet, and that's gonna make him doo-doo all over the place, so you have to collect as many donuts as you can, but none of the doo-doos. See, that's a donut, and on the other side, that's a doo-doo. Don't pick up any doo-doos. So it's just a shitting kangaroo, dude? <laughs> yeah, Joseph, he's a kangaroo. <laughs> that's a crappy joke, dude. Sorry. Okay, so how do we start? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna press this button and make him doo-doo. Oh, oh, he's gonna doo-doo! Get ready for doo-doo! Oh, he's going crazy. Come on, shit, you stupid kangaroo. Yeah, where's the poop? Uh, well, there's one. That's, I can't collect that. That's a doo-doo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't touch that. I think he's constipated. Yeah, I can tell. He's not doo-dooing, Cody. Oh, there's one. That's all poop. No, that's a doo-doo. You can't take it. Okay. Get it. Wait, that's a doo-doo. Where's the delicious donut? I... Oh, oh no, 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 no,
just gonna flip this one over. No, no, no flipping the doo doos. The rules say no flipping doo doos. But it's just a sticker, dude. No flipping doo doos. It's just nothing but doo doos. Yeah. That's why the oh, I got two of them. Yeah, hey guys, what are you doing? <laughs> We're just playing this shitty board game. Get it, Junior? Shitty, like doo doo, and <laughs> like poop out of your butt. Yeah, I get it. Well, what if I create a game called Shit Shit My Ass Four? I mean, we would have to make three of them first, but I think it would be better than this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, dude. Well, I need you guys' help starting a business because I need to make a lot of money so I can buy a new cat piano. Well, you can sell hard drugs, bro. <laughs> what could go wrong? Too hard to find. Oh, I got a perfect business idea. Why don't you start an escape room? What? Yeah, you know those people who pay to get trapped in a room for an hour and they have to escape? Oh, so I gotta kidnap somebody, lock them in a room, and then wait until they pay me to leave? Well, no, no, no. See, the crazy thing about this is people pay to stay in the room, and they have to escape. They pay you to do it. Huh, now that you mention it, that's actually kind of fucked up. Yeah, but there's a lot of escape rooms, and they make a lot of money, so we should start an escape room. Yeah, I agree. I think we should do that. Okay, okay. but what room would we use? We would use this room, Cody. But this room doesn't look like an escape room. That's the crazy part about this. We lock people in this room, we tell them it's an escape room, they never get out, and they're gonna keep coming back for more, because they're like, wait, they really want to break this puzzle. Well, usually they have puzzles in the escape room. No, no, see, that's cool part. There's actually no puzzles. It's just a regular playroom, but people are going to go crazy in here trying to escape. They're going to keep coming back for more and we can charge $100 per person. That's so much money. Yeah, people are going to love it. So let's make a commercial for the escape room and the line's going to be out the door. Let's go! Karen! Karen! Can you get the bag of Tootsie Pops from out of the pantry? I like them. No, Boiny, you haven't had dinner yet. No candy before dinner. But I want Tootsie Pops. No, Boiny, you'll spoil your appetite. Come on, let's go somewhere fancy for dinner. How about Olive Garden? Hmm, that is pretty fancy. But I'm not hungry yet. Boiny, you just said you wanted Tootsie Pops. I don't eat Tootsie Pops because I'm hungry. I eat them because they taste good and I like them. Well, come on, Boiny, let's go out to dinner. Okay, but let me check the sports highlights first. Ugh. I don't want to do Co it. Cody, say the thing. It's offensive. Do it. <sighs> Hi, it's me. No, say how they start their sentences. What? The thing. Oh, uh, Arriba. It's me, El Chapo. I'm currently in maximum security prison, but it's still not as hard to escape as Jeffy's escape room. You would have to get help from the cartels to escape. They would have to dig a tunnel to get you out. That's just how hard it is to escape from Jeffy's escape room. So come on down to Jeffy's escape room and try to escape. It's it, This is brought to you by El Chapo. I am not El Chapo. Yes, you are. Now they're not going to believe us. I don't want El Chapo to be mad at me, Junior. They cut people's heads off with chainsaws. Chainsaws, Junior. Oh, my God, Karen. Karen, Karen, did you see that? That escape room says it's so hard even El Chapo couldn't get out of there. Let's go do it. No, come on, Boiny. I'm hungry. Let's go out to dinner. Oh, come on, Karen. One quick escape room, and then we can just go to dinner. Boiny, those escape rooms take like an hour. Not with me. I'm an escape master. I escaped from my last marriage, and if I can escape from that, I can escape anything. Come on, it'd take like 10 minutes. Uh Oh, fine, Boiny. Only if it takes ten minutes. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited for this escape room. I'm gonna escape the shit out of this room. Oh, Boiny, I'm so hungry. Don't worry. Your hunger's gonna be quenched with escape. Ooga, booga, booga, booga! Ah, see, Karen, it's already scary. What do you guys want? Uh, we're here for the escape room. What? The, the escape room. Oh, that. That would be a hundred bucks each. Damn. Boiny, that's way too much money. Oh, don't worry, Karen. That just means it's going to be a really good escape room. But Boiny, what about our dinner? You're going to eat this escape room right up, Karen. All right. Come in, I guess. Okay. Get in there. Wait, this is the escape room? Yep. Well, what's the theme? My bedroom. Well, what are the rules? Well, if you see a crusty sock in there, don't touch it. Okay. Well, it's not very scary. It's terrifying. Come on, Karen, we got this. You got one hour to try to get out. Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Ooh, it looks like a little kid's bedroom. It is a little kid's bedroom, Boiny. Any questions? Can we escape out the window? No. <laughs> Let the escaping begin. Oh, look, Karen, this must be the first clue. Doo-doo kangaroo. Hmm, that rhymes. And look at these. These must be the doo-doos. But look, there's also donuts. Quick, Karen, count the donuts. One, two, three, four, five. There's five donuts, and I have five fingers. <gasps> that must mean that I can use my fingers to open the door. I got it. <laughs> I told you, Karen, we'd get out of here in less than ten minutes. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, shit. It's not working. I don't know why I thought it would be that easy. El Chapo would have figured that out. All right, Karen, there must be more clues around here somewhere. We have five donuts. And look, there's four donuts on this thing. And look, Karen, a magic eight ball. 
Five, four, eight. That must be some kind of code. Hmm. Oh, the microwave. Maybe I can put in five, four, eight. Five, four, eight. That's a sticker. Boyney, open the microwave. Oh, good idea, Karen. Let me see what's in there. <gasps> it's a watch. Oh, what time is on the watch? It's five, four, eight. Okay, five, four, eight. That must be the code. Let me try it again. Five, four, eight. It's still a sticker. Damn it. But 548, that's a time. That must mean that it's time for us to leave. Let me try the door again. <laughs> oh, damn it, come on. Ugh. 548, is that right? Is that the code? I, I don't really see a place to put in a code around here. So is it 548? Ugh, damn it, I guess they don't give clues. Ugh, come on, Karen, there has to be more clues around here somewhere. And you have to help if you want to go to dinner. Okay, fine, Boiny. Okay, what do we have? We have 548. Hmm. Or 854. Or 845. Oh, Boiny, try opening the oven door. Oh my god, Karen, you're right. What's in there? Oh my god, Karen, there's a pizza in there. And it has four slices. So that's 5484. Oh, Boiny, look, the oven's set to 350. Oh my god, Karen, you're right, it is. So that's 5484350. That's Seven digits. That could be a phone number. We should call it. But Boiny, I don't think we can use our phones in here. No, Karen. The only rule is that we're not allowed to touch the sock. We can use phones. So I'm gonna call it five four eight four three five zero. Karen, it's ringing. But Boiny, how do you know you got the numbers in the right order? Because that's the order we found them in, duh. Hello, who is this? Why you call this number? What you want? Yes, are you part of the escape room? Did I win? What the fuck you talking about? Is the code 5484350? That's my phone number. Yes, did I win? Don't call this number no more! Hmm, don't call this number no more. See, that's a double negative. That means he does want us to call him again. I'm gonna call him again. What the fuck you want? Yes, if I can just get the code, I can win. Fuck off! Hmm, fuck off. That has seven letters. And seven, eight, nine. Six was afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine. And there's a pizza in the oven and you can eat pizza. No, boy, you can't eat that pizza. It's a toy. Yes, that's right. This pizza is fake. And there's four letters in fake. That means the four is fake. We shouldn't use the four. Hmm, actually, you, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna go beg for a clue to make sure we're not totally off track here. Wait, but Boiny, look over there, it says step two. Oh my God, Karen, you're right. This is step two. So what was step one? I'm gonna go ask what step one was. Hey, I desperately have a question. What do you want? You give up yet? <laughs> not a chance. But I found step two, and I was just wondering what step one was. Getting in the room. Oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. That is the first thing we did. All right, Karen. So we were kind of on the right track, but we got the numbers out of order. So the new code is 35084. Wait a minute. There's one bowling pin. So that means the new code is 350184. And what's this under the four donuts? It's Twister. Oh, Karen, this just got a lot more complicated. Boiny, I'm so hungry. Come on, help me with Twister. Yeah. Okay, Karen, do you notice anything weird about Twister? Well, there's four colors, Boiny. That's right. There's green, yellow, blue, and red. And look at that, Karen. Look, there's four colors on those donuts. Red, green, blue, and purple. But there's no yellow. But there is purple. That must mean the code is purple. Or yellow. Oh, Boiny, look over there. That scooter's purple. You're right. And that bowling pin is yellow. So that must mean we have to ride that purple scooter into the door while holding the yellow bowling pin. That must be the code. Come on, Karen. Jeffy, what are you doing? Nothing. Why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. Why don't you go in your room? Don't want to. Are you locked out of your room? No. Then why don't you go in it? Because I don't want to. <sighs> Jeffy, listen, I was coming here to talk to you because I know you want a new cat piano and we just don't have a lot of money right now. And I was just, oh, you know, just letting you know that maybe I could buy you a new cat piano if you just be good for like a week. Too hard. What, what do you mean too hard? Jeffy, why are you grabbing your door handle? I'm not. What's in your room? Nothing. I want to check. No, no, you're not. Why? Because I don't want to. What's in the room? Nothing. Jeffy, open the door right now. But hopper. Get out of the way. No, Daddy, no! All right, Karen, let's escape this bitch like El Chapo. Yeah. What's going on in here? Fuck yeah, we did it, we won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! What is going on? Marvin, your son makes the best escape rooms. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard, but he didn't know I'm the master of escape. I'm like Houdini, I can get out of anything. What are you talking about? Here, you can keep your stupid fucking bowling pin, but I'm keeping the scooter, because I get out in like three minutes. Come on, Karen, let's go to Olive Garden. Yay, Olive Garden! I really have no idea what you guys are even talking about. Fuck yeah! Jeffy, 
can't get in here. What do you want? You have a package from your Aunt Ernestine. Who's that? She was your aunt, Jeffy, and she died two days ago. Shit. While shipping you this package. Jeez. And it's been outside for two days, so you should open it. All right, here I go. Whoa. <gasps> she got me a puppy? He's been outside for two days with no water in a hot box. Marvin, we need to call a vet. I'll go get the vet. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, we really need your help. Wait, what's with that button? Oh, the gay pride button? Yeah, if I wear this and the hospital thinks I'm gay and they don't make me do male physicals because they think I'm going to like it too much, which is fine because I don't like touching balls. And I get to be a gynecologist and not wear any gloves, and then afterwards I can suck my fingers like I got done eating baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back chilies, baby back ribs barbecue sauce. Anyway, what do you need? So his Aunt Ernestine died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but if she's already dead, I can't help her. Oh, no, we need a vet. Why do you need a vet for his dead aunt? No, I need a vet for this dog. Why did you mention Aunt Ernestine? It's part of the story. Well, skip the story and tell me about the dog. Okay, so this dog was shipped here two days ago in that box, and that box was outside in the hot sun. You left your package outside for two days? Well, no, it was in Jeffy's name, so we didn't know if we could open it or not. Well, did you give the dog any water? We didn't know if we could give him water. Well, of course you can give a dog water, and you should feed it, too. Baby, write that down. Okay, I got it. It's a Miracle, this dog's even still alive. If, if it survives, you should name it Miracle. Well, I was gonna name it Win Dixie. Why would you name it Win Dixie? You didn't find it in a Win Dixie. That doesn't make sense. He looks like a Win Dixie. He doesn't look anything like the dog in that movie. Well, I'm still naming him Win Dixie. All right, it's your dog, but just give Win Dixie some water. All right, Jeffy, we don't have any water here, so take him to the gas station and give him water. Okay, come on, Win Dixie. So then I tell the guy, fine, I will take my business elsewhere. Holy shit, you have only look, PT Cruiser 2007. Oh my god, you're right, it's a PT Cruiser 2007. I tell you all the time, I always want PT Cruiser 2007. Ask him if he'll sell it to you. Oh, great idea. <sighs> nice car. Thanks. PT Cruiser 2007, how much? She's not for sale. <laughs> Oh, cute dog! I love dogs! Utsusuyaka Metsuka! Niet Yetsitu Saku! What? What did that little shit say to me? Hey, 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 sorry about my friend. You have a nice day, sir. You too. Alright, Danny, I just got Win Dixie some water. Alright, drink the water. Drink the water! Jeffy, you need to put it in a bowl. No, he can learn to drink out of his straw or he'll have nothing at all. Good boy. All right, Jeffy, me and Mommy are going to go watch a movie tonight. Are you going to be safe home alone? Yeah, I think me and Win dixie are just going to go to bed. All right, good night, Jeffy. Come on, baby, let's go to the movies. All right, come on, Win dixie All right, Win dixie it's time to go to bed. But first... <laughs> What's wrong, Win dixie You couldn't possibly want the bone that I chew on every night before bed. You do? All right, well, go get it. Why does it do that? <laughs> All right, Win Dixie. Good night. Look, brother, the PT Cruiser 2007 from the jerk off at the gas station. He wouldn't sell it to you. I said we take it. With pleasure. You ready? Let's go teach that mother heifer a lesson. That PT Cruiser 2007 is mine. All yours. Soon you will be mine, my baby. Brother, we're going to have to break in by busting the door down. Why not just open door with door code? What do you think the code is? What year is PT Cruiser? 2007. Oh, well, it was 2007. All right, we're in. Time to find keys to PT Cruiser 2007 and get out. But, bro, it could be anywhere in here. Well, we better start looking. Yeah. Oh, Keys are not under the table. Keys are not under chair either. Oh look brother, it's cute dog from gas station. Little dog, where are keys to PT Cruiser? What do you mean what year? 2007 obviously is best year. Brother, kill this mutt. Okay. <gasps> Win Dixie. Good, that stupid mutt is dead. Win Dixie! Brother, what are you doing? Kill this stupid brain! Okay. Where is PT Cruiser key? Yeah, where is it? Tell us if you want to live. I already killed stupid book. Oh, bro, look over there on T-Rex. Holy shit. Key to PT Cruiser 2007. Let's get out of here. Does we don't, you bitch.
Look, brother, we did it! PT Cruiser 2007! His dream come true! And it drives better than I thought it would! Let's take it back to shop. Duh. Corbin, I can't believe you made me watch a movie about a bomb! I thought Oppenheimer was going to be the sequel to Pinocchio! What? Oh my god, Jeffy! <gasps> Jeffy, are you okay? Oh my god, Marvin, someone beat him up! And someone killed his dog! Marvin, call the dog! Somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, someone beat up our son. Wait, more buttons? Oh, yeah. See, I found out June is Gay Pride Month, and if you're gay, you get that month off, and I really want June off next year. So I told Henry in HR that I was gay, but he didn't believe me, so then I kissed Julio the janitor in front of him to prove it, but then he caught me brushing my teeth and throwing up immediately after, so I decided to wear all these pins to hopefully convince Henry I like knob. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? The dog is dead! I told you to give it water! No, someone beat him to death! Oh, I didn't know you guys were friends with Michael Vick. Hey, can you give me his autograph? Wait, no, no, like someone ran to beat him up and someone beat up Jeffy too. Oh wow, what happened? They killed my dog and stole my car. Huh, that reminds me of the time somebody killed my dog and stole my car. Wait, that happened? Oh yeah, let me tell you about it. So back in the day I had a wife and then she died. It's not really clear how she died, like I guess she had cancer or something, I'm not really sure, but what matters is that she died. And then after she died she gave me a puppy, N not like she came back as a zombie or a ghost and gave me a puppy, she just like had it delivered after she died, I'm not really sure how she arranged that, but what matters is that I had this dog, okay? So then I go to the gas station in my 1969 Mustang, and it's a really nice car, and then these two Russian gangsters there, and they tell me how much they like my car and they want to buy it from me, and I tell them it's not for sale because I like it too much, and that pisses them off. So later they come over to my house, and they beat me up, and they kill my dog, and they steal my car, and now I'm really pissed off. And what they don't know is that I'm a legendary hitman, and nobody's supposed to mess with me, so I want revenge. Also, I'm friends with the Green Goblin. Like, he's not literally the Green Goblin, he's the actor that played the Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe, but the whole time you're watching it, you're like, mm, that's the Green Goblin. So I get revenge on these guys, right? And I shoot a bunch of people, and I kill all of them, and I get a new dog. And then my daughter calls me, and she's on vacation in France with her friends, and we're talking on the phone, and she's telling me how it's going, and then she gets kidnapped while she's on the phone with me. And then I get on the phone with the kidnapper, and I tell him how scary I am, and how I'm gonna track him down, and he doesn't really seem to care. So then I fly over to France, and then I kill him and find my daughter. And then on the flight home, I find out that my plane is full of snakes, and I have had it. I am sick and tired of these monkey fighting snakes, on this Monday to Friday plane. And then I'm a fish working at the whale wash, and I want to be famous, and I also owe a bunch of money to this puffer fish and his jellyfish henchmen, so I decide to pretend that I killed a shark, and then everybody loves me, and they think I can protect them from sharks, and then real sharks show up, and then after that, I fell asleep, so I don't really know what happens. Also, I was voiced by Will Smith. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, none of that actually happened to me. Those were all movies I saw recently. But still, you should get revenge, Jeffy, because what they did was messed up. You're right. I'm gonna kill them all. Be careful, Jeffy! Oh, and then I was a little red crab and my friend was a mermaid who wanted to be able to walk. Hey, boss, you like? Whoa, is this a 2007 PT Cruiser? <laughs> sure is. PT Cruiser 2007. Classic. Wait, where'd you get this car from? Some jerk off at gas station. I killed his dog. Ha! <laughs> Wait, did his face look like this? Yeah, pretty much. You idiot. You killed Jeffy Wick's dog and you stole his car? Uh, what's big deal? What's big deal? I'll tell you what big deal is. Jeffy Wick is the most gruesome hitman in the world. He once killed a man with a pencil in his nose. No, I'm not scared. Well, you should be. Okay, I'm a little more scared now. I'm going to call my dad. Come on, father, pick up cellular device. Hello, son. Hello, daddy. How is your day going? Well, people keep telling me I screw up. What did you do this time? I steal Jeffy Wick's car and kill his dog. You did what? I do bad. Yes, you did very bad. I in trouble. Yes, you in very big trouble. You go and give me spanking. No, I don't give you spanking. Jeffy Wick give you spanking. With gun. No, I beat shit out of Jeffy Wick. He pulled no, he's going to kill you. Not if I kill him first. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have baseball bat. Brother, come, we go and kill Jeffy Wick. Hey. <laughs> Jeffy Wick, what are you doing here? That's my car. Uh, I, I know it is, and you can have it back. I didn't send anybody to steal it. They just didn't know any better. Will you tell them that I'm coming for them, and I will kill them? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will. I got one question for you. Who's shitting my diaper? Uh, I don't know, you? Correct. <sighs> I swore I'd never kill again, but now I have to whip out my big fucking goofy purple Fortnite pistol to kill those two guys who killed my dog. 
but I have to go to sleep first because I haven't gotten a full night's rest. <sighs> no more Mr. Nice Guy! Jeffy Wick, come out to play! Huh? Huh? They're here! Time to die! He's upstairs. You want to go first since you have gone? Sure. Where are you, Jeffy? Holy shit, you killed my brother! Screw this bit! Hey, I don't miss. <laughs> Alright, I am safe here. Where are you, you Russian piece of shit? Right here, you American piece of shit! Oh no, I'm out of ammo. What am I to do? <laughs> I need somewhere to hide. In here! Don't look in here, I'm just coffee cup! Shit! You ready to die? Oh come on man, it was just a stupid dog! Alright daddy, I got my revenge. I'm glad Jeffy, now can you take that ridiculous wig off? No, cause I still got three more sequels to make. You killed my son you bastard! 